Hi, I'm Malcolm, the developer of Wear Installer and other apps for Wear OS devices. If you have a Samsung Galaxy Watch 4, you will know that you can reprogram the watch buttons to start certain apps. The only problem is that long pressing the bottom button is hard coded to Samsung Pay. But today I'm going to show you how to repurpose a long press of the bottom button to open any installed app on your watch. We're going to use a new app I've written called SPay Remap. SPay Remap isn't in the Google Play Store because it uses some restrictive features like accessibility. So we're going to install it to this watch using my Wear Installer 2 app. So firstly, let me bring in my phone and let's download the APK from the Freepop website. So here it is, and uh, we're going to use Wear Installer 2, as I mentioned. Um, if you don't have that on your phone already, you can get it from the same website. But let's go back and look for SPay Remap, and there it is. And if we just tap on it, it's downloaded to the download, downloads folder on our phone. So, Let's go back to the to the watch and I'm, again, I'm going to make myself a developer and turn on ADB debugging. So we'll go to settings, about watch, software and just tap on software version until you get a message to say developer mode turned on. If I go out, I can see there's a new option there, uh, developer options. So let's go into that and let's turn on ADB debugging. Yes, I'm sure. And we need to make sure that, that debug over Wi-Fi is also turned on and it is. Now we're going to need the IP address of this watch and let's just go out and back in and we can see there I don't know if you can read it on the screen but the IP address is shown here it's 192.168.1.214 for this uh, for this particular watch so let me move it over there and bring in my phone and let's open Wear Installer 2. Now there are some notes here that explain exactly, exactly what's going on, but it's very easy as, as we'll see. The main thing is to remember to put the IP address of your watch into this area here uh, at, the, uh, at the bottom of the phone screen, and you can see that I've already done it. So let me press Done. Now, Wear Installer 2 is showing all the installed apps on my phone, but we want to go for Custom APK, and this is showing the Downloads folder, um, and here you can see the APK file that uh, I downloaded previously. So let me tap on that. And Wear Installer 2 says this APK file is for Wear OS. Let me continue. And you can see that I've got a prompt on my watch to allow debugging. I'm going to say OK. And now the phone is offering me the option to install the APK. Let's do that. Should just take a few seconds. And the APK, the APK should now be installed on the watch. Let's finish. And it reminds me to turn off ADB debugging on the watch. Let's do that straight away because if we forget, it'll just use, use more battery and we don't, we don't need that. So ADB debugging is turned off. Now let's look at the installed apps. And you can see here SPay with a little arrow. That's, uh, that's the name of, uh, uh, that's the icon for SPay Remap. Uh, SPay, by the way, stands for Samsung Pay. 
So if I currently long press the bottom button, actually I need to go back to the home screen first, watch face, long press the bottom button, it goes to Samsung Pay. And so that's the thing, that's the behavior that we're going to change. So going back, let's open this, uh, this app. Now, as I mentioned, it uses accessibility. And so the first thing that we'll need to do is to just allow accessibility for uh, S Pay Remap. Uh, so we, we're in the accessibility settings in, um, on the watch, installed services, S Pay Remap, turn it on. Yes, I'm sure. And let's just back up until we get back to the app. Now, there's a carousel here of all of the installed apps on your watch. And you can choose any of these apps by tapping on them and it will open that app instead of Samsung Pay um, when, you, uh, when you long press the bottom button. So many people want to use Google Pay instead of Samsung Pay. Let's just tap on Google Pay. So it tells me that the bottom button is now remapped. Let's long press. And you can see it's opened Google Pay. I don't have a screen lock on this development watch, but you can see that uh, it did open the app that I selected. Let me go back to So it's telling me that it is uh, mapped to currently mapped to Google Pay, but I can choose any other app. So for example, uh, internet. So the bottom button is now remapped to internet. Let's see if that works. Long pressing it. And there I am in Samsung internet. And perhaps we'll do one more. So go back to my app. It tells me it's currently mapped to internet. Uh, what else should we try? Uh, let's try uh, maps. Okay. So now it should be mapped to Google Maps, long press again, and there we are, opening Google Maps. So you can see it's pretty easy to, to set this up. And once you've done it, you can just come out of the, um, the SP Remap app and your, uh, the app will remember the settings and you don't have to worry about it uh, anymore. So that's about it for now. Just a reminder that you can see the link to the Freepoc website uh, that I was on um, below this video. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.